What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome back to another episode of Advanced Warfare Gun Guide. This is the series to go through all the weapons in the game, breaking them down in three minutes or less, giving you guys only the most important stats, info, and recommended setups to help you do better in multiplayer. So, uh, let's check out the HBR A3. Now this is definitely one of my favorite guns in the game, probably my favorite overall. It's, it's just a, a very solid weapon, extremely, extremely powerful, and for those that are accurate with it, there's really nothing that you can't do with it, which is uh, it's kind of fun. So uh, starting off with the iron sights here, I'm gonna call them fair. They're not absolutely atrocious, but they're really not all that great. They're they're kind of crazy. They have a lot of like right angles and stuff, and they have the vertical line in the middle, the two lines off to the side, the diamond around it, the stuff off to the very outside. I don't know. It does block a lot of your view, especially at those medium to long ranges. So so typically I will run some sort of optic on this thing. But if you want to, you can try to use the iron sights, just sometimes it may not be ideal. Now, uh, next up for the damage, this is where this thing absolutely shines. 40 damage up close, which is one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game. I think it might be the most powerful. Uh, and then 24 damage at a distance, which makes it a 3 to 5 shot kill. The rate of fire is kind of interesting. The first three rounds of every burst fire faster. And keep in mind, this is of every burst, not of the magazine. Some guns, it affects, you know, the first few rounds of the magazine, but this is of every burst. So you can literally just sit there and burst fire this weapon and continuously get this benefit. But uh, yeah, so the first three rounds fired about 650 RPM. The rest of the mag fires about 600 RPM, which is really not that big of a difference. But uh, hey, I mean, if you're burst firing, you're going to be firing faster, putting more bullets down range, and hopefully killing more enemies. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, next up, as for the recoil, this is where this thing really struggles. So it's got a pretty decent rate of fire, it's got a super high damage, but it's got awful recoil if you don't have anything on it. But the thing is, if you put a foregrip on it, it turns it into a laser weapon. The foregrip has a absolutely insane effect on this weapon. It's a necessary attachment for this thing. If you aren't running the foregrip on the, uh, the HBR A3, you're doing it wrong, so keep that in mind. Uh, as for the magazine size, 30 rounds normally, 45. Got extend mags on. That's kind of small-ish for an assault rifle, but it's not too bad uh, since it's so powerful. Reload speed is 1.93 seconds. For normal reload, 1.66 seconds if you do the quick reload by double tapping the reload button. Uh, and then finally, for my recommended setup, like I said, foregrip is an absolute must. I also like some sort of sight on it just because those iron sights aren't really that good. Usually I run with a red dot. And then finally, stock and quick draw are both great attachments for pretty much any assault rifles so you can switch those in uh, as you like. Now uh, my last bit of feedback for you guys is I highly discourage you from using the silencer on this weapon. If you want to run it on the bow or you know a few of the other assault rifles it's better but with this weapon it's meant to be high damage. If you run a silencer and you reduce its range you're taking away what this thing was meant to do so uh, I really don't think it's that effective on this weapon but anyway yeah there you guys have it just barely made it under three minutes there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which weapon you guys want to see in the next episode of Advanced Warfare Gun Guide by leaving a comment down below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.